Welcome to the shack. I'm Rick. Today, I have a little something here I just wanted to share with you. I really like the product. I like their foundation as a company in whole. Very, very supportive military. This is 100% U.S. made and I am huge on that. And I really like this and I would just, I wanted to show you and kind of go through this a little bit exactly what it is and a little bit about some other stuff kind of like a personal thing about me these are survival straps not that i am a doomsdayer i personally i don't believe in any of that i do think preparedness is necessity uh, i went out with my father-in-law we did jeeping he off-road so we're out exploring and personally I love doing that stuff sometimes I'm out by myself and in any given situation there's always that risk of something happening we have no control over everything we think we have control but we really don't and there's always that risk of even a natural disaster it's just life so doomsday no but preparedness most definitely and these are just a few things that I carry with me all the time in that preparedness mode for any given situation. The survival straps are just that. They are, and this is the one I'll bring you over here and let you get a closer look. This is just a really nice design. It's a bracelet. They have, and there'll be descriptions below. So look at the description for the link to this site many many different colors to choose from many different items to choose from these guys are serious when they say they support military uh, support any of the law enforcement agencies and stuff even though they're getting a bad rap that's just a few people you don't like this country I'm sorry dude you we, they made you a millionaire and I'm not gonna say names because he's not worthy of the name and you stand for that damn flag. People died for it. And I had my great-grandfather serve this country. So I take that very, very personal. You get your ass up and you show respect to that flag. Back to this. I hate people like that. You don't like it, take your ass out of here. I've been to thir these other countries. You think it's worse? No. Why in the hell do you think they come here? Because they want the freedom that we have. They don't have it there. You don't like it? Go try your freedom somewhere else jerk offs eh, sorry about that you check them out by all means please just go to the site check them out these are very cool you I mean there's different things you can buy different types of bracelets I bought this for me and I actually hope my girls never come around right now I bought one for both of my daughters a different style one loves red one loves purple I'm going to bring you over here. I'm going to go through this and show you this up close before I get ate up by bugs. But these straps are made out of paracord. And that is the cord used on the parachutes. Paratroopers, they know about this stuff. 550 pound test on these things. This particular strap has, I have two different colors. The third, strap, third color really isn't that much. But the two main colors are a good six feet or so plus. So I got two six foot cords in an emergency situation. I can unravel this, use that to pull something, to maneuver something in any way, use it in any way necessary in an emergency situation. Or even if it just something happens and I gotta use it, I have this ready to use. Kicker is if you happen to use this, all you have to do is fill out a little form telling them what you used it for, take a picture of it, and voila, they will ship you a new one. Because their whole purpose is for that very reason. In an emergency, you have something that's actually quite nice, almost fashionable. But most importantly, it's an emergency situation. That's what it's for. So come on over here. I'm going to go through this real quick. Show you that. And that's it. This is just one thing that I happen to love very much. I like it. I like it the foundation of this company and what they stand for first off this is what the package came in survival straps you go to their website survivalstraps.com and these 
are the items that I received. And this one is mine, the one I like. Three different colors I chose. The blue in the middle with the red stripe and the gray on the outside. Red stripe is just kind of red, white, and blue. I want a kind of American, more of a patriotic thing. Comes with two pins. The stainless steel or plastic. Plastic is a breakaway pin. So if this gets caught on something with enough force, it'll break away. I like the stainless steel pin, but for safety reasons, I am definitely putting this in because working with my hands, and that's why I don't wear my wedding band no more because I did catch it a couple of times. Not nothing that was going to harm me, but after I got caught a couple of times, I started thinking that's not good because one of these days it's going to catch something and I could lose a finger, especially doing mechanical work, woodworking, all that stuff. You just don't need anything that's going to catch on something. So that's one reason why I don't wear that anymore. And this, I like the stainless, but before, but specifically for that reason, I am using these plastic pin. So if anything happens, it will break away and I won't be sitting there hanging and have to cut my arm off because I can't get away or get out of the situation. But that's what it looks like. And they have their measurements. You measure your wrist. And this one, you have three different settings so you can make it a little bit tighter, looser. And the back side here, if that emergency situation does come up, right here you see the two ends. You can pull these out, work them out. This is pretty snug and tight, so it is kind of stiff. I've been playing with it the last two days, trying to get a little flexi flexibility in it a little bit more comfortable and that will happen in time it gets more comfortable as you wear it but you unravel that and you just take this part and you will have like I said between the blue and the gray I have a good six feet of each color and as I stated prior that is 550 pound test paracord that is heavy duty and all you do is put that on there I won't strap it on. I just want to show you put that on there put that through there tighten it up and that's what it looks like and that just stays on me and until I need it basically it's just like a little fashion thing something to wear I don't wear watches or anything I don't wear jewelry except I like my pukas and I like this so I'm, I'm a pretty basic person so that's that that one is mine and these I got from my daughters for Christmas hint hint Christmas gifts and like I said, there's all kinds, of, there's a ton of different styles. And they even have this in a keychain and other types of styles, necklaces, whatever. You can have that. And it's basically somewhat of fashion, but for my case, it's more of a preparedness item. But I got these for my daughters, and these are 9mm shells on this. And it's just a wire band, so you can flex it to fit. One, like I said, one daughter likes the purple, one daughter likes the red. They all come with a little survival strap card. And in my case, it tells me how I unravel this, and it tells me I got like six feet or so of paracord and blah, 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 blah. Damn bugs. So that's my little fashion preparedness. This is survival straps not just fashion not just something but there is a purpose and a reason behind these if you love america at all and you appreciate those who put their life on the line so you can have the freedoms be a real jerk understand people died for that purpose for you to have that freedom of speech understand that first and foremost check them out now, on a more personal level, I'm just going to show you a couple items that I carry with me at all times. Oh, before I get too far, my strap actually came with this little pamphlet that goes through everything. Just kind of shows you everything, shows you the strap, putting it on, and that you have the different uh, adjustments, and you either got the stainless steel, which won't break away, or put the plastic pin in, and it will break away. Very well informed, very very good company, and as I said, I like their I like the way they're grounded. They are they are definitely grounded. 
and they love America and what it stands for. A couple of items that I carry at all times. I have a friend of mine who was a tank commander who gave me this because he does a lot of hunting and it's just a good idea because he hunts a lot, hike a lot, and I kind of do a lot of the same out and about. Again, being prepared. I carry this around. It has a couple different strikers. Spark to start a fire. Another striker. A little knife. <clears throat> Back in the day, my great-grandfather, this is all they had to open up cans in the field. A little can opener. And a newer version of a bottle opener. And another large striker. That These I carry with me all the time. Just for an emergency situation. And another thing that I've had quite a while, and if I ever need it, and I've tried this, I got a couple of these. I made this a couple years ago. I found it on YouTube and I really liked it. And you know me, I like my Altoids. And I came across this and I like it. And I keep it with me everywhere I go. Just a normal container, as you see. I have these holes drilled all around it. And you see these on the bottom. Well, this is a like a little mini grill. I'll take these out. Take this little grate. Flip it over. Set it down. Set this back in there. And I screw these on. Start a little fire here. And that gives it what it needs to burn to get the oxygen circulating so it gets a nice intense heat put you uh, something on top of here you can have a little pan boil water and it will take one little camping pan some or I haven't done it yet but I want to get a little grate like this but a little heavier to sit on top of this so I could put a can of beans or something or beef stew or whatever you know I mean just anything you have you have a can and you can heat it up also, I haven't done yet, but I want to get another one of these. You take cotton balls, get some Vaseline, mix them together real well. It will only take a spark or two from one of these. And I believe it or not, that Vaseline is flammable with that cotton ball. Ignites quickly and that is a excellent fuel to start in a fire put some of those put like line one of these up with some uh, tin foil put maybe six or eight cotton balls in there how many you can put in here put foil over it seal it up and just keep it if that situation ever arises spark that up you got a good fuel to start a fire even if you don't have something like this you need some way to start a fire and and maybe you can't find any dry wood or anything that stuff will burn that is as excellent fuel to starting a fire or even get a bottle of aspirin or something that you can shove some down in there and mix them up prior. Like put a little scoop of Vaseline in a plastic bag. And put some uh, cotton balls in there and just mush them all up really good so it really penetrates the cotton ball. Shove them in something. So whenever you do, you pop open, pull one out, lay it down there, spark it, light it, build your little fire, and you got it. Again, preparedness. If any given situation, emergency, natural disaster, something... I am prepared if need be and that's all it's about not a doomsdayer but I, I don't I believe in being prepared so that is it that's my little tip just being prepared especially in the day the way people and st stuff are going on that's what I carry with me and the little cotton balls and that's it that's my little survival kit for right now I even have one of these in my car this stays in my backpack and this stays on me I have one in my car and in my truck that maybe I can start a fire stay warm or keep something animals at bay or something you just never know this is nothing but preparedness in case of an emergency better safe than sorry anytime back on my wrist go back to work no matter if this thing gets caught that plastic will break so I have no worries about getting hung up getting injured 
that's my little preparedness. That's how I make sure if anything happens, even my daughters, they got something that may help them in a situation. And that's my little survival guide, my little whatever. So take it for what it's worth. <laughs> and then I will see about if you want to look at one of the, something like this. If I can find that video again, I'll, I'll put a link below. So all information, links to these guys, I highly recommend them. Seriously, they are a wonderful company. They do great work, very conscious about the community and helping and doing, especially for um, our veterans and stuff. And that is just, I, I don't have words. I mean, that, that's you can't get any better than that. So be prepared, always. Take a few steps and may end up one day saving your life. Always, I truly appreciate you taking time to watch. Thank you so much. I think I put it up here. Follow me on Twitter. I will tweet out when little videos come out. And I think that's it, so be blessed. Get out there, take back your shack. Follow me as I take mine back and through all the projects and just life in general. So get out there, please. Take time for yourself. I don't care if you just go out there, spend an hour, clean the bench, clean an area. You gotta do it. Get organized, get your life back. When you finally do and you start enjoying, believe me, it makes it a much more pleasurable and a joy to got to do when you can, when you have the room and you can get out there and actually do something. So just get out there, build it for a friend. Always build it for family. Could be an heirloom, but because it's very soothing and it's therapeutic for me, get out there and build it for your sanity. I gotta get building these shelves, but I wanted to show you this. Thanks again. See you next video.